in this video we are going to discuss a problem related to mechanical translational system. So, here they given to find out the transfer function of that mechanical translational system. The system is given like this find the transfer function of the system shown below they are asking. So, whenever they given any mechanical translational system whether that is mechanical translational or not we need to see. So, here you can see the elements mass and spring and dash pot and some friction due to surface. So, all these are related to mechanical translational system. So, this is definitely a mechanical translational system which is having its three basic elements mass, dash pot and spring. So, here when they given to find out the transfer function of the system, we need to take the output transform by input transform. If you observe this diagram, here the output is in terms of x2 and the input is in terms of f1. So, if you consider x2 of s by f, f1 of s, then you are going to get the transfer function of the system. So, for this, first we need to note the free body diagrams of each mass. Here we are having two masses. So, one is mass m1 and second is mass m2. We need to draw the free body diagrams for both mass m1 and m2. After drawing free body diagrams, we need to write the force equations. After writing that force equations, from that force equations, by taking Laplace transform, we are going to get the transfer function of the system. This is the process we are going to follow here. So, here what is meant by a free body diagram? Free body diagram of mass m1 I am writing here. So, free body diagram shows all forces acting on that particular mass. So, here I am taking mass m1, the displacement for this mass is in terms of x1. What are the forces acting on this particular mass is means here we are having an external force f1 of t. So, always if you have any external force that we need to indicate in this direction. So, f1 of t and whatever the internal forces are there that internal forces I need to write here opposing forces. So, what are the opposing forces are acting on this mass m1? Force due to that mass itself we need to consider first of all that means f m1 and another force is due to this spring. So, f k1 and force due to this dashboard force due to this dash spot b1, f b1 and here force due to this spring. So, that means f k2, f k2 is there. So, these are the four forces acting on this mass apart from this f1 of t. So, here I need to write each force equation. So, first what is f m1 force due to mass element. I already given how to write force equations for each element in mechanical translational system in the introduction class itself. So, now when you are writing force on a mass element you need to consider acceleration. Acceleration is nothing but differentiation of double differentiation of displacement. Here displacement is x1. So, every time we need to take a constant related to that mass related to dashboard related to spring. Here related to mass the coefficient is m1 and the acceleration is d square x1 by dt square. This is the force equation due to mass, force due to mass. Coming to force due to this dash spot Fb1. So, how we will write force due to dash spot? Force due to dash spot is proportional to velocity. So, velocity is nothing but differentiation of displa displacement. So, proportionality constant we need to consider as friction coefficient b1. So, b1 into velocity means dx by dt, but if you observe this b1, this b1 is not fixed to a reference value. Both sides it is having displacement. Whenever both sides it is having displacement, so you need to consider the difference as your result in displacement. So, we as we are writing for this body x1 minus x2 you need to take. So, same dash spot is having effect on m2 also. When you are taking consideration of m2, there when you are writing force on b1, then you need to write x2 minus x1. <coughs> Here force due to 
that particular dash spot is equivalent to b1 into d by dt of x1 minus x2. So now here we are having fk1 so force due to this spring nothing but displacement so coefficient is k1 displacement is x1. Similarly we are having another spring that is fk2 force due to second spring fk2 so here we need to consider the constant as k2 coefficient as k2 elasticity coefficient as k2 but if you observe this spring this spring is not fixed to one side this having both sides it's having some displacement factors so you can see this side x1 this side x2 but this spring is having fixed reference value so that's why i consider only x1 for this when i am having both sides displacement i need to consider x1 minus x2 so according to newton's second law applied force is equal to opposing forces so i am writing that one f1 of t is equal to addition of all these forces m1 into d square x1 by dt square plus b1 into d by dt of x1 minus x2 plus k1 x1 plus k2 into x1 minus x2. Finally what we require means we require transfer function of the system. Transfer function of the system is nothing but x2 of s by f1 of s we require in s domain but the given equation is in time domain to get my s domain take Laplace transform on both sides. I am taking Laplace transform on both sides then I am going to get f1 of s is equal to f1 of s is equal to I am having m1 into s square x1 of s s square x1 of s plus b1 into so s into x1 of s minus x2 of s if you are having double differentiation you need to write s square here single differentiation that is why I am writing s so you know differentiation property you should know differentiation property in Laplace transform so plus k1 into x1 of s k1 into x1 of s plus k2 into I am writing this k2 downside I want to use my board so k2 into x1 of s minus x2 of s. So from this equation I want to take common of I want to separate x1 of s terms and x2 of s term. So I am taking common of x1 of s first so m1 s square plus b1 s b1 s plus k1 plus k2 this is x1 of s terms minus x2 of s I want to take common x2 of s is equal into so here I am having b1 of s b1 s so b1 into s and another x2 of s term I am having here so that means plus k2 so I will get like this this is my f1 of s this is the Laplace transform of force equation of free body mass m1 so now similar analysis I am going to write for free body diagram of mass m2 so I am going to consider my free body diagram of mass m2 you can see here so I am going to consider mass m2 mass m2 here the displacement is in terms of x2 what are the forces acting there is no external force here only the opposing forces are acting on this body so force due to itself that means m2 itself so another force is due to this b1 due to this spring and due to friction of this sur surface here we are not having friction due to surface they are having that body is having wheels 
but here we'll get some friction due to this surface horizontal surface so now here i'm having fb1 and fb2 and finally fk2 so these are the forces acting on this mass m2 so again i need to write the force equations of each element so fm2 is equivalent to again equivalent to acceleration m2 into acceleration is d square x2 by dt square here d square x2 by dt square here so here fb1 when you are writing fb1 so you need to see about that element so here this element is not fixed to a reference value so when you are writing from the side of m2 the resultant displacement will be x2 minus x1 when you are writing towards m1 that will be x1 minus x2 but now you are writing for m2 the resultant displacement will be x2 minus x1 so b1 into velocity means d by dt of so resultant displacement is x2 minus x1 so now fb2 friction due to surface so fb2 is equal to b2 into dx2 by d2 just velocity so finally you are having fk2 fk2 is equal to again the spring is not having fixed reference value si so both sides it's having displacement so that's why again fk2 is equal to k2 into x2 minus x1 always force due to spring is nothing but displacement force due to dash spot is nothing but velocity d by dt of displacement and force due to mass is equal to acceleration that means double differentiation of displacement now we need to take newton second law force acting on this body is equal to opposing forces there is no external force here i'm taking it as zero but for this body i'm having f1 of t that's why i consider f1 of t here so zero is equal to addition of all those forces m2 into d square x2 by dt square plus b1 into d by dt of x2 minus x1 plus b2 into dx2 by dt plus k2 into x2 minus x1 <coughs> again after taking force equation of free body so we need to consider laplace transform on both sides so zero is equal to m2 s square x2 of s plus b1 s into x2 of s minus x1 of s you should know the differentiation property in laplace transform d by dt of x of t is equal to s into x of s d square means s square x of s d cube if you are having s cube s of s so plus b2 into x2 of s plus k2 into x2 of s minus x1 of s we take in the laplace transform so now this is time to take the common of x2 terms and x1 terms here i am taking common of x2 of s so x2 of s is into m2 s square plus b1 s plus b2 b2 s here you forgotten to write s so b2 s so here i am having d x2 by dt that's why i need to take s into x2 of s plus here i am having k2 so this is the quotient of x2 of s so minus x1 of s i am taking common so that is b1 of s plus k2 if you want x1 of s so then x1 of s is equal to m2 s square plus b1 s plus b2 s or you can write like this b1 plus b2 into s plus k2 into x2 of s divided by b1 of s plus b1 into s into k2 not b1 of s b1 into s plus k2 this is x1 of s from this i'm substituting this x1 of s here 
So, I am going to get f1 of s is equal into if I substitute that m2 s square plus b1 plus b2 into s plus k2 into x2 of s divided by b1 s plus k2 and here minus x2 of s minus x2 of s into b1 of s into plus k2. What I need to I am going to do is I am taking common of this x2 of the x2 of s both sides. So, here in these two terms I can take common of x2 of s whenever I am having common denominator. So, to get common denominator I am cross multiplying this to this side b1 of s b1 into s plus k2 b1 s plus k2. So, I am taking common like that. So, b1 s plus k2 b1 s plus b1 not b1 of s this is b1 s plus k2 b1 s plus k2 whole square you are going to get b1 s plus k2 whole square. So, I, I can take common of x2 of s now. So, I can take common of x2 of s now. So, what you require is x2 of s by f1 of s that is your transfer function. So, x2 of s by you just send this f1 of s to this side and you can take total factor to this side that means b1 of s b1 into s k2 divided by m2 s square plus b1 plus b2 into s plus k2 minus b1 s plus k2 whole square. This will be your transfer function of the given system mechanical translational system. What you need to do is first you need to take free body diagrams and force equations. From that force equations if you take in Laplace transform and if you substitute it one equation in another equation to get the form x2 of s by f1 of s you are going to get the transfer function of the system. Like this way you are going to get the transfer function of mechanical translational system.